How's it going everyone? It's the detective back again with another video and it's once again another Lego custom figure unboxing. I actually got this from Customs SM aka Simon on Instagram and he makes recreations of some of the older Clone Army Customs designs and just does a ton of kind of like open visor classic styled clone troopers and i'll have him link down below because his stuff is really great he's really communicative very nice and the prices are really decent as well and this actually came pretty quickly you know the tracking didn't update for a while i think like nearly a week but then it finally updated like yesterday and then it just arrived today so here we are as you can tell i'm just using some actual parts to just block this out but let's just cut through here and i believe it should just open up and uh, I might have to do this off camera. All right, so I made some more cuts along the sides. And one more thing is I actually got this recommendation from a viewer that I should uh, kind of have a nice background. And I just took some pieces of paper and put them on the ground. And it works pretty well. You know, the carpet might have been a little off-putting. I won't deny that. So I, I think that this actually works quite well. But let's actually just open this up. And oh boy, there we are. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm really excited. So... I assume that this is just paper filling. So it looks like we have like a little invoice or something. Oh man, that, I'm excited for this. All right, I'm just gonna move this aside real quick. So we got all of these cloth pieces as well. And all right, so let's actually take a look at some of the stuff that we have here. And I'm pretty excited. All right, so the unfortunate thing is that I actually opened it, but then the doorbell rang and then my dog started going crazy and I had already taken it out. So I figured, all right, I'll just take out everything that I got and I laid it out here. So let's go over it. So firstly, the main part of the order, the 501st Airborne. And this is really nostalgic to me because as a kid, there was this certain image that I saw and it was like this guy with all of his kind of weapons and art and like his helmet and his cloth, uh, his cloth cape were kind of removed and they were like mounted on some studs next to him. And I just remember seeing that photo as a child and I saw it again when I first learned about Clone Army Customs in like 2016, again, after seeing them as a kid. And uh, yeah, I figured, hey, he has this service available where he recreates old figures. Why not? And this looks, it looks absolutely incredible. Probably the only complaint I have is that the helmet falls off easily, but I feel like that's not his fault. It's just the fault of the helmet for being loose because this is a custom helmet anyway. But just look at that. It's like, it doesn't even look like decals. It looks like it's just straight up printed on there. The legs are tight. You can move them up and down. And of course, he's even got that cloth piece, which looks basically exactly like that old CAC cloth. And it's just so cool to have this in my collection. And uh, he's even got the little decaled face beneath there, uh, which is pretty cool as well. And uh, some other things that I ordered were these cloth pieces. And I actually ordered these to put on these guys here, the phase ones that I'm going to make an, uh, into arc troopers. So I'll do that in a second. But he was really kind. He offered to send me a few free decals. So um, I chose this one, which is Bakara right there. And then I also chose Commander Apo. And he even sent me some extra cloth pieces to use with them. So we have some extra like arc trooper cloth pieces and even a Bakara cloth. I'm just going to make a quick cut here and I'll actually just put the cloth pieces onto these figures and let's take a look at them with all the, you know, cloth accessories applied. Alrighty, so I put the cloth accessories onto these figures and they look absolutely fantastic. Of course, here is the Airborne and uh, again, really, really cool. You can just see these others. We have the blue arc here and you know, I just gave him the shotgun or the rifle or whatever, and he had this already, and I did get this from CAC, but I eventually I do plan to actually get some kind of classic style helmets for these guys as well. And then, of course, the Red Arc Trooper, really, really cool. Just, again, really happy to have that. And then, finally, just that plain kind of Phase 1 clone that I just put the waist cape on. And again, he did send me, as you can see, all of these extra cloth pieces, which is again, really generous. So I am gonna cut these out and it's gonna be pretty fun and I'll be able to put these on some other figures eventually. And also these decals, once I actually make these decals and you know, I'm gonna need to get some, you know, the necessary materials of course, and also some helmets. But uh, once I do, that'll be really, really fun to do. I've never decaled anything, so that'll be exciting. But yeah, overall guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm the detective and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.